Hello people, this is uh, D here with Nerdactables. You can say that I am in Nerdactables main headquarters, which, well, isn't much right now. And, well, some of you might ask, uh, what is Nerdactables, huh? Well, here these past couple months, not even really a couple months, more like a month so far, a couple weeks, I have uh, decided to start going to estate sales and... Um, just rolling the dice and see what happens. I plan on opening up a store. That's what Nerdectables is called. We're going to start with eBay, see how that goes, and we're going to transfer over into our own store, hopefully within a year or so. We'll see how it goes. You know, if eBay's rocking, we'll just stick with eBay. But everybody knows about those eBay fees, right? Not me right yet, because I've just started. I'm going to find out, though. Also, just want to give you guys a, a quick detour of what the Nerdectables headquarters is currently looking like. Because it is a mess. Alright people, I'm going to kind of show you what uh, the Nerd Actables headquarters is kind of looking like. It's just uh, the upstairs of my current living facilities right now. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, it's, it's a mess up here. We'll, we'll show you. Here's the hallway. I got magazines. I didn't really buy those magazines. I kind of got them in a bulk lot that the ladies I was packing other stuff up books records other media and they were like hey do you just want the magazines too so I was like yeah hey, I'll take them so yeah I just took them they were National Geographic's time there was a couple other good ones some life's in there as well so uh, hopefully I can bulk them up and move them um here is another stuff a whole bunch of board games some VHS's yeah some people might laugh VHS's ha 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 so out of date but go look it up VHS's are actually selling better than regular DVDs. Not Blu-ray, but regular DVDs. The VHSs will bring you a little bit more money if they sell. So, right here what we have is going to be room one of the, the upstairs and everything. Uh, my main purchases going forward when I started were, were mainly books and records. So, um, you'll see that this, this lot right here is mainly books i got i do got some board games that's this what i think was my first board game lot that i rolled the dice on you know i think it went pretty well i got some more board games back here nice little mother goose game old school life you know this is just kind of what i'm working with this is you know our bookshelves our bookshelves are kind of sorted and everything already like a lot of this stuff is already logged into our store database but eBay only lets you have 10 items up at a time when you start up a new business, which is uh, pretty lame, but whatever. I don't plan on staying on eBay because of the fees. I'm just showing you guys kind of what I'm working with. So let's get back in the hallway now. Let's go back to the hall, and we'll go down to uh, the real headquarters where I have, oh, just tons of stuff. Tons of books. This is what I've been working with right here. These are my purchases and everything going forward. I still have a lot of sorting to do. Tons and tons of sorting. Just books galore, people. This, this is those books right there, those ones in the corner. Those are actually logged in our database. We have some really good ones. You know, I got some more some more popular books up there. I got some books from the 1800s and stuff like that. Really crazy. And then I live in a prime part of the prime part of the country where 1930s 1940s this place was booming i live in the uh the toledo ohio area and uh it's just mind-boggling some of the stuff that you know they have in this area here let me just show you like this one book really quick like okay the history of medical practices in toledo in the Maumee valley area it's going from 1600s to 1990 I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this book was like somewhere going between 30 and 50 bucks just for this book. And I got a couple of them that are like that. So, I mean, that's kind of why I started buying books and everything because, I mean, I can fit a lot of product. There's, I mean, yeah, I don't have much room to walk and stuff, but uh, what I have logged people, it's, uh, it's mind boggling to what I've paid to... Uh, to what these are actually the going rate for them online is on and you know that's what we're just rolling the dice with so i mean let me show you some of the first items that i also got online on ebay or whatnot you know just just kind of show you guys what's up you know here's a little working station we got going on it will get better 
in due time. So yeah, so I'll just show you a couple things. These guys right here are some yearbooks. 1946, 48, and a 45, right? So yearbooks actually go fairly well on eBay. We've been looking them up. You know, the going rate is, you know, right around 20 bucks, actually, if, if you find the right person. But, um, you know, I, I can't say too much on them. We're trying to stack all three of these together for, you know, a $50 price. And that's because in one of them, well, two of them, actually, there is a Hall of Fame <clears throat> football, sorry, Hall of Fame basketball player, Ed Malkillery. Ah, probably m murdering that guy's name. Sorry, Ed, for that, but, you know, that's all. When, when you get into yearbooks, you kind of want to hit up the wiki, you know, go see if they have any reasonable alumni in them and everything. You might be surprised to who, who, what pictures you have of. You know, I bought some precious moments. I got a whole bunch of these l last week at a garage sale. Just a whole bunch of figurines. Some of them have their... Some of them have their, you know, their their styrofoam pack packaging, but a lot of them just are wrapped. But they at least have their box. They're in good shape, you know. So hopefully those are decent sells. Another thing that people love on eBay are blank cassettes, especially sealed ones. You know, so hopefully these go. We have these guys on on sale right now. Six of them, eighteen bucks. These guys are going anywhere between like four and five bucks total online. So, you know, we're trying to hit the market really super low. Got some Pezzes up here. Nothing fancy. Some Looney Tune Pezzes. And then also, man, nice little. Let's see, I got these 10 toys at one place. And then I got the die cast, funny story, girl is store in like a warehouse, jam pack of stuff, couldn't even hardly get it, felt like Mike Wolf and, and Frank Fritz and American Pickers crawling around in this place, but I did good with that, I got like six die cast cars and a couple things, I got a couple Miller meters, it actually all really worked out, I'm hoping, I can't say it really worked out, since I just started selling, so, then the other thing is, Nice little brass reindeer set that I got with the Christmas stuff that I got. Just, just kind of cool and, you know, they don't make stuff like this anymore in our day. And we also got some, some other little tin toys. Unfortunately, this guy was supposed to have a hen on top of it. And it would have really drove the price up on that if we had the hen. Same with this guy. This is actually a broom a sweeper. I'll show you. Mother Goose. There's supposed to be a stick coming out of that guy right there. So, and that stick was probably, oh, if you have that stick, that adds like a good $20 to that little toy and everything. But, hey, I know I'm talking, I'm gabbing. I need to get out of here. It's about sales time. People are going to be opening. I need to get to that stuff. Even though I don't really have much floor space to go work with it. I'm going to keep you guys posted on how my day goes. All right, so I've, I know I've been kind of gambling, you know, to, kind of giving you guys the, the scoop. It's my first video. I'll try to get better with, you know, my wording and everything and making videos quicker. But I really do need to get going. It's almost 9 o'clock. Estate sales, that's when they open up. I want to be the first to a couple of them. We got five that I'm trying to hit up today. We're going to see how it's going to go. I'll give you guys little scoops of if I buy anything, I won't be taking videos of inside of the estate sales because I feel like that's uh, that's detrimental to my strategy of getting the items that I want for a certain price. So I probably will never actually go into a, an estate sale with an, a, 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 a with recording just because I think it's going to negatively hurt my... my um, negotiation skills that's the word i was looking for so with that being said people i'm out i'll keep you guys posted on the stuff i buy 